Hello fellow YouTubians. It's Fletch with the Big Sky Tactical Channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coming to you from Big Sky Country. Hey guys, today yes we are going to be talking about Mother Earth news as you probably gathered from the title. But before we do that, I wanted to give a shout out to a great channel because I was watching one of their videos this morning and I thought, wow, more people need to watch this video. It's a great video. Uh, already has like 115 likes, so it, it's good quality content. Uh, <clears throat> but anyways, who's that dude? That is Mr. 5.56. And not to leave out Mrs. 5.56. Uh, she's as much of their channel, if not more. But this happens to be Mr. 5.56. The name of this uh, video is What's Your Life Worth? And this is a great video series. It's two videos, to be exact, and they talk about the importance of one, carrying a concealed weapon, and two, uh, being ready to use it. Um, go dynamic, intercede, defend yourself, uh, you know, whatever, whatever word you want to use. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is a great, great video series. I, I highly recommend that you watch it. I'll put a link in the box below. Uh, they also have a great channel, and uh, they also uh, have a, pers a woman's perspective as well from Mrs. 5.56. So uh, <clears throat> might be a way for some of you guys to uh, get your wife on board, so to speak, watching the videos that she does. But again, uh, yeah, check out uh, Mr. 5.56. And, like I said, we're also going to be talking about Mother Earth News today. So if you will bear with me quickly here, I will um, put the camera on the tripod. All right guys, so first off, let's talk about what Mother Earth News Magazine is. Uh, I know that some of you probably are going to have an uh, aversion to this magazine because of the, well, I like to use the word liberal, but I think that to some people that's offensive because they consider themselves to be liberal but yet you know they believe in prepping or they believe in you know different things so when I say liberal what I'm talking about <laughs> in, in this instance is uh, people that believe that nature trumps all nature is God or that you know any environmentalist policy that comes down the pike is good because it's quote unquote for nature and uh, my take on that and I, my personal opinion and uh, you know we can of course agree to disagree and still get some good out of this magazine and uh, here on YouTube as well obviously but uh, you know I do not believe that uh, nature is God. I do not believe that nature trumps all. I do not believe that every envi environmental policy is a good policy. <laughs> I sure as heck don't believe in the carbon tax racket that uh, the liberals are trying to cram down our throats. So, having said that, you know where I'm coming from and you know what my take on this magazine is. And in my opinion, this magazine does have a liberal point of view. <laughs> they will find articles in here about global warming and uh, about how basically that, in my opinion, a lot of the articles are about, you know, anything that's pro-environment is good simply because of the fact that it's pro-environment. And, you know, in my opinion, green needs to make sense. You can't make a green product and expect people to pay five times more for that product just because it's green. A lot of greedy corporations intentionally <laughs> do just that. And you know, and you got to look at it this way too. Um, the more that we are forced into a green system, the more that it, it's going to be taken advantage of by greedy corporations because they know that you're going to have to start doing this or you're going to have to start doing that. So therefore, they have a product that doesn't cost any more to manufacture, yet they're charging more for it because they have a chance to reap higher profits. So that's what I mean when 
conservation, being green, whatever, it's got to make sense. So, having said that, let's look at uh, some of the articles and frankly some of the ads. There are great ads in here as well. Um, Mother Earth news right now in this era, so to speak, uh, is very much into self-sufficiency, being self-sufficient, living off the land. Well, if there's ever uh, an NSIG event, uh, NSIG is normal society is gone. In my opinion, that makes a lot more sense and it's a lot easier to, to say or repeat than, you know, Rawl, W-R-O-L, or Tia Tawaki, the end of the world as we know it. And so I just like the term NSIG, quick, easy, to the point, normal society is gone. So anyways, if there's any type of a normal society is gone event, whether it be man-made, or Mother Nature, um, there may become a time when you have to be completely self-sufficient because you cannot get to the store, uh, there's nothing in the store, even if you could get there, and so you're all on your own. That's the purpose of prepping. The, in my opinion, the purpose of prepping is an ongoing state of mind that you are preparing to be self-sufficient. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. And I'm just going to leaf through here quickly so you can get an idea of how the magazine's laid out and what type of things you'll find in it. So, uh, lots of green and environmentalism uh, articles and ads in here. Uh, ball for canning, that's all good stuff. And uh, the first uh, set of articles in here is about container gardening. And uh, they, previously they've had some great great articles in here about that to teach you how to do it and uh, like I said good ads in here if you're into uh, products that uh, are natural uh, like I said you know but in my opinion it's got to make sense uh, I'm not gonna pay you know five times more for a product just because it's quote unquote natural <clears throat> um, more ads uh, they always have uh, an opinion piece in here. They had previously done an article about wolves. and um, <laughs> But again, in my opinion, um, it tends to have a very liberal slant uh, to where nature trumps all. And that's not always the case. Um, animals and trees are not sentient. They are not more important than human beings. In my opinion, great pictures of nature in here on a regular basis. Um, <clears throat> Mother Nature does book reviews in here uh, on a regular basis. And um, all the books that they review, of course, you can obviously buy from them. And in the back, I'll show you they have a great resource for that. Uh, here's some ads for uh, an emergency water pump, a huge one. Um, global warming, like I said. Um, definitely have a um, liberal green stance to it. Um, article in here about radiation exposure. Uh, let's see here. Article and ads about using um, heirloom seeds and there's actually an exposition that's going to be happening in Santa Rosa, California. And of course if you don't know the importance of heirloom seeds is that <clears throat> you can capture the seeds from them and they can then reproduce more fruit. The GMO seeds that we have now, most of them you cannot. Built-in exclus built exclusivity by the corporations in America. Wonderful! Uh, article in here about winter greens. A great article in here about peanuts. All the different things you can do with peanuts. Um, there's a lot of times there's uh, little articles that you can make in here for recipes and things that you can do. Uh, here's one about making your own hot sauce with peppers. Um, here is a great, great article right here about how to make a self-sufficient one acre homestead. Hey guys, uh, this is a great article if for no other reason than it makes you think about what you're going to do. If you're ever in an insect event and you know you've got your retreat somewhere, 
uh, you've got to plan out what you're doing. You can't just walk out somewhere and say, okay, well, I'm just going to start digging up a garden here, and then, you know, we'll just go with that. That's not a very good idea. <laughs> People don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. And you need to make sure that you are using good use of your, your property and making sure that you're making it all work in harmony with each other. So this article talks about all of that, a simple layout. They talk about you know some simple things you can do to build a chicken coop, uh, <clears throat> crop rotations, having livestock. So it's a great article. By the way, uh, Mother Earth News is like twenty dollars a year in 1999, 1995, whatever, twenty bucks, and it comes out uh, every two months. And uh, there's an article here about fall gardens. How to, you know, how to get the most out of your crops as fall comes along. Here's an article about um, how to control weeds. Uh, if there's ever an NSIG event, um, you won't be able to go down to the hardware store or Wally World and buy uh, herbicides. Uh, <clears throat> here is a, a great resource. This is 41 years of Mother Earth News from 1970 to 2010. Uh, this CD or DVD-ROM has every single issue, all the articles that have been written uh, by Mother Earth News on this one uh, DVD or CD. I'm assuming it's a DVD because it would probably be, uh, yeah, it's a DVD. A CD-ROM wouldn't be able to hold that much information, so that's why I was checking. It is, in fact, a DVD. Now, having said that, obviously, you're going to have to make sure that, you know, if this is something you're planning to put it in your preps for any type of an NSIG event, uh, <clears throat> you're going to need to make sure that, one, you have a computer that's protected from any type of uh, EMP, electromagnetic pulse event, whether it be man-made or nature from the sun, uh, as an example, something like that. So you're going to need to make sure that you have uh, a computer or, and some way to protect the disk, you know, just from getting scratched and things like that. Uh, transferring the files onto a memory stick uh, might be a good way to do that as well. But anyways, again, just a great resource. Uh, it's only 40 bucks, and you get every issue that Mother Earth News has ever put out for 41 years. So that would definitely be something worth looking into. Uh, article about uh, using natural cooling strategies to keep your house cool. Uh, SIPs, uh, how to build the SIPs, uh, structural insulated panels, SIP. And let's see here. Again, like I said, you know, there's uh, lots of uh, left wing slant in here about uh, global warming. Uh, I don't necessarily disagree with climate change, but uh, my personal opinion, I think that's probably much more likely to post-glacial rebound. Check that out if you haven't. Post-glacial rebound. Um, great ads in here. Great ads in here. It's a great resource. Uh, a good article in here about how uh, eating this GMO modified foods, you know, it's supposed to be low fat and all this. Uh, yeah, it's crap. <laughs> Don't eat it. You're much better off just eating good old-fashioned organic eggs and bacon and things like that. The fat is actually good for you. That kind of fat. So I encourage you to check that out. Uh, here's a great article right here about uh, using gray water, how to harvest your gray water to reuse it. That might be important in an NSIG event, obviously. And, uh, you know, just great, great ads in here, like here's an old-fashioned cooktop stove that you could use that you can actually bur burn wood in. I'm sure it's going to be very expensive, but if you can afford it, why not? Great to have in your retreat, so you always have a way to cook. Uh, here's the resource I was telling you about in the beginning, about all of the books that uh, Mother Earth features. and. Um, Cheese making, how to preserve, drying foods, uh, root cellars, the Encyclopedia of Country Living, Thriving During Challenging Times, Country Wisdom and Know How, uh, Possum Living. I'm sure you guys have heard of some of these uh, books. 
but it's just a great resource. It's one place that has a lot of great books in there, beekeeping, uh, things like that. Uh, <clears throat> food, an article about food independence in the 30s and how people lived. Great article there. And <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Uh, talking about composting in five gallon buckets. Uh, articles in here about great hand powered, or excuse me, ad rather, about a good hand powered mill. Chicken coops again. Uh, really nice ad in here about how to use a, a wood burning stove to heat your whole house. Great article there. That might be important at some point, huh? All right. <clears throat> I don't want to miss any of the things that I wanted to talk about. Like I said, I'm, this isn't meant to be a formal uh, presentation, so to speak. This is just like one friend sitting down with another, going through it quickly, showing you some of the, the things that are in here. Um, let's see here. A good article about the benefits and the detractors from using sunscreen and some better options. Go figure. Putting a bunch of chemicals on your body may not be the best thing, right? Um, <clears throat> Nice little uh, article in here about a natural cleaner that you can use. You may not always be able to go down to the store and buy it, right? Uh, add in here for a composting toilet. That might be important, especially if you live in a city. It's not like you can just go out back and dig an outhouse, right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, ads for composters, lumber mills, pretty cool lumber mills that you can just hook a chainsaw onto. Um, <clears throat> let's see here, lots of ads, but some of these ads are great resources. Uh, here is an ad for some heirloom tomato seeds. Uh, ad for emergency essentials, I'm sure all of you that are preppers You've heard of them. Uh, here's a great ad for a company that sells uh, lanterns, emergency lighting. That could definitely be important. <clears throat> then on here, you know, more ads for uh, composting toilets, toilets, rodent repellents, grain mills, uh, more wood heat options. Yeah, let's see, there's a couple more things I want to talk about. Uh, in the back here, there's lots of opportunities to learn about bees and beekeeping and resources for that. <clears throat> and just a lot of, you know, small mom and pop businesses are listed out here in the back. Uh, also great resources, people that are currently, you know, living a self-sustaining lifestyle and they're selling a product. Uh, here's a nice ad for an herb company that uh, you know only uses um, heirloom seeds ads for chicken coops uh, chicken coop plants rather I guess I should have said and uh, here's a nice ad for a heat saver a non-electric um, basically what it does is it captures the heat as it's going up your flu and then radiates that into the room so you're not just sending all the heat up the chimney Especially if you have an older, less efficient wood-burning stove, that could be important. But as you can see, this is just a great, great resource. Uh, we are subscribed to it. Uh, we read it every time it comes out. Now, if you're one of those people and you say, Well, Fletch, you know, <clears throat> that looks like it might be a good magazine, but you know what? I just can't handle all that green liberal crap and I'm not going to support that. Well, here's another option for you. Grit. <clears throat> this is published by the same people. It has a lot of the same articles in about it, but it's more towards just country living, living out on acreage. And I'm not going to go completely through this one like I did Mother Earth News, but suffice to say that it's written by the same people, it has a lot of the same articles, but you won't find as much, uh, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> about the Green Liberal Agenda. So, Grit Magazine, and uh, again, it's the same price. Uh, it's $20 for a year, and it comes out every two months as well. Well, guys, if you have any um, 
any comments or suggestions or you know if you read Mother Earth News and you have something to add other than saying you know they're a bunch of you know hippie bastards or whatever uh, you know I've already covered that we don't need any more of that but you know if you currently read the magazine and you have some constructive criticism that you could give other people that might be considering getting a subscription to this magazine uh, please feel free to post below and um, Thank you for joining me today. This is Fletch with the Big Sky Tactical Channel signing off from Big Sky Country. God bless.